It's the last messy background day. I know. Tragic. Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Hello, gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? Are you distracted by a crystal? <laughs> if you're new, hi, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff, nail stuff, and the stuff she does with nails and stuff with nail stuff, man, stuff and it. It's so silly. It's so silly. I feel silly every time. Here we are getting ever closer to Christmas on day 19, 18, 18, 19, 18 of the Madame Glam Advent calendar and our Advent accent adventure. So let's have a look and see what is inside box number 18. It's a mini polish. It's purple. It's called Wanderlust. Shall we have a look? Okay, let's have a look. It's purple. We like purple. Purple suits anything. I don't think it's assigned to any particular emotion, is it? I think purple can just be whatever you want it to be. So we're going to do one nail with this Wanderlust. We're going to do two coats of it. And then on the other nail, we're going to use Perfect Black. So this is the second coat. You can see from the first po 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 coat <laughs> how opaque it is. But I am doing two coats because sometimes it's nice just to see the full, you know, even when you don't need it on a display tip, on a person, always do two. But it's nice sometimes to just get the true finish. And now we're taking their super cat eye which is a silvery cat eye that you can put over anything and you do see the color that you're putting it on comes through although it doesn't show very well on this video so it kind of looks like I get rid of the purple but you don't need to do it thick so I've got my magnets attracting to each other and we're going to hold that either side and just bring out this super glow, shush, magnetic -y awesomeness. Oh, the, with the light, the brightness of it when it catches the, oh, ooh, look at it, look at, ah, it's so good, it's, it's blinding. So we're going to cure that. Now we're taking Perfect Black and we will do two coats of this. I apply this super duper thin really thin. Black is obviously harder for UV or LED light to penetrate to cure. So you want to do it thin so that it can cure properly. But also, look how stinking opaque that black is. That's bananas. So I think I did two coats and now I'm using a matte top coat. It's not the Madame Glam one because I don't have theirs because there's an order that's been stuck at customs since no fit. October, November, don't know. Spoke to customs, didn't get much out of them. Um, so I had to order one that was going to arrive quickly because I'd run out. So I can't remember where it's from. It's from Amazon, but I can't remember the brand. Um, so we've matte topped the black. And now we're drawing a triangle. I started with a horizontal line so that it would kind of guide me a bit. And then we're not joining the triangle at the bottom. Mm -hmm. We're going to do two little thin lines and then... We are going to do a smile, a little smiley face, and then just join up the bottom of those lines to that curve. This was maybe attempt number three of the glass, um, but then I thought, does it matter if it's not close or even near or even in throwing distance of perfect? Nah, doesn't matter. So I'm curing the outline and now I'm mixing some base coat with some of their perfect white um, just to make a kind of milky white milky white I love milk mm, I fancy a glass of milk and I'm using the petal brush to just put some of this down the left side of the glass down the stem and then on the left side of the bottom bit feather it out a smidge just to give it a kind of, I don't know, glassy, I don't know, 
bit of shading, I guess. Although we do cover up most of this, so yeah. So I've cured that. Just gives it a bit of kind of dimension maybe. And now I'm taking the purple, the Wanderlust, and we're going to fill in the bottom part of the triangle. Are there any purple drinks? I don't know. I did supervise a cocktail bar at a nightclub in London for a long time. You'd think I'd know if there was a purple drink. I can't think of one though. Um, and of all the cocktails I had to memorise, I can only remember like one. Long Island iced tea, gin, vodka, rum, triple sec, sweet and sour, top of coke in a Collins glass um, with ice. So I've cured, the, I've cured the purple. I would add the stick that we put on later. I would add that now. So bear that. I would add that before doing this step because we're taking the super cat eye. We're going to go over the bit we've just done in purple and then we're going to zhuzh it. We're going to magnetise it. But I think, because then I add a like a cocktail stick later, but if I'd have done it before putting the cat eye, then at certain angles, you would see it through the cat eye as if it was inside the liquid. That would look better. So we've done that from certain angles. You can see the purple and some you can't. So it kind of looks like the glass is filling up and emptying again. It's quite cool. And then we're going to take some of the McCart gem gel and we're going to add that little crystal that distracted me in the intro it was still on my desk so I put it to use I'm going to put it there and then do the cocktail stick and then bring it down inside as well see if I'd have done this under the cat eye I don't think I'd go into the cat eye on this because it would then be sitting on top but if I'd have gone under it you would have caught it in the light when the, the magnet moves and you see the purple and then the shiny the cat eye bit you know so now we're topping the glass with the madame glam no wipe top coat and that will be that oh i should oh no i shouldn't have done some little bubbles coming up of it because it's not fizzy it's a uh, whatever cocktail you want it to be it's in a martini glass let's call it a martini so yeah some angles oh is it going to show on here yeah see there mm, it's not showing very well on here but it kind of moved so it looked like one of those kids bottles you know when you the 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 doll's milk bottle that when you turn upside down the milk disappears where does it go nobody knows it was kind of like that but you could have used the magnet from the top and pushed down and that would give that effect um you would see some of the purple all the time if you push down and kind of play around with it a bit so I've topped this one in shiny top coat and now we're just going to do a dot and we're going to pull out from that dot at 12 o'clock and then the sort of 5 to 12. It's more of a, I'd say that's more of a, a, a seven and a half minutes to 12, um, but near 12. And then we'll do a little flick and another little flick, a little C, and that kind of gives us a pointy triangle. And then we are going to outline the whole thing in black i wanted to bring the black in a bit in a bit more onto this nail as in more than just the clock hands because the other one is obviously black so it's nice to tie everything together but yeah the little um clock hands the little triangles on them you can do little triangles but i just did sort of a c no just a swoop just a just a curl just a flick um on one side and, and then the opposite flick going in the opposite opposite direction <laughs> oh dear um on the other side of the line and that gave us a kind of triangle but that had bent sides oh sorry about that uh, now we're going to still continue to outline the outside i kept making it thicker because i i like a thin outline but then when you look at the nail front on you can't see the sides so I kept sort of making it a bit thicker and I guess this is maybe acting as our clock face it's not round but that's okay my neighbor Glenis who watches hi Glenis she's got the clock who's the artist um I know the artist but it's just not coming to my mind with the the clock that's kind of melting you know that picture She's got that clock 
it's all melty on the wall. Uh, clocks. So now we're going to use the dotting tool that we got yesterday, day before yesterday. No, yesterday. And we're going to put some dots at 12, 3, 6 and 9. And then we're going to think, no, let's not put dots there. So don't bother about the black dots. We're going to add some crystals. These are different crystals to the one in the cocktail glass. And these have got a, they're clear, but they've got a purple shift in them, which I thought would look quite cool. It's not massively obvious, but it's there. I know it's there. And that's all that matters. <laughs> so we'll pop those on. Maybe should have done this, put those on before topping and then done all the black detail to seal around them or just make sure they're sunk in enough to the gem gel that they have got a border around them. And that's that. And you can't see the blinking purple, um, but it's there and it's just not showing on camera, but you could really see it in real life. I promise I haven't just covered up the colour completely. Give this video a like, a comment, a subscribe. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.